Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato and Curse Forge has gone and released its redesign. Okay, so we're going to have to adapt to that. Uh, it's quite different. It's basically uh, taking curseforge.com, which you would have gotten through if you clicked uh, the mod description in the Twitch launcher. It would take you to curseforge.com, but that was the site didn't actually do anything. Uh, it was minecraft.curseforge.com that actually had the mods, but now it is Minecraft CurseForge. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you how to get mod packs in Multi MC. Uh, so, you know, you could go to the mod packs area here, uh, and that's what's selected when you select Minecraft from the homepage is mod packs. Okay, so we're going to go and we'll do Sky Factory 4, so just select it from the list. Now, what is very different is that now when you go under files area here it's wanting to take it into the twitch launcher it's wanting to install it into the twitch launcher okay so it's wanting to integrate those more closely in multi mc we need to download the zip file uh, or in the past we could have gotten a link to the zip file uh, that's not working anymore but i'll show you how to download the zip file so Click this install button here or, or hover over it and right click on it and then choose copy link address. Okay. And then in your browser bar, you'll paste that link like so. And you can see at the end, it has this question mark client equals yes. So that's, that's basically saying launch it in the Twitch client. Let's get rid of that. So we're going to select the question mark client and why we're going to delete that now when we hit enter on our keyboard it's going to take you to the download for the zip and then they've got this now waiting thing which is what prevents it from directly getting the zip okay but once it downloads the zip file there it is on your disk so go into multi mc uh just you know into whatever instance you use or what have you and grab that guy that you downloaded and just drag it into the window then a new window will pop up and let you install it Okay, it'll pre-name it you could change the name and all that kind of stuff but that's how you get it and that's how we're going to do it in in the uh, new site unless something changes with how multi mc will handle the links and stuff which is a possibility anyway that's gonna be it for this video hopefully that helps you and that is how you do it and we are adapting to the changes on curse forge anyways it's scott omato thanks so much have a great day you'll see you in the next one bye bye